First responders boldly go where they've never gone before, thanks to a brand new hovercraft. KTV News Watch Evans Melissa Fry takes you for a ride in Council Bluffs. It's not a boat or a helicopter, but somewhere in between. <laughs> Council Bluffs Fire Captain Jason Sorensen took me out on Lake Manawa to see for myself what this hovercraft is all about. You can get this thing anywhere, basically nothing else can get to. High horsepower and lightweight. Out on the water, the hovercraft can handle the most dangerous rescues that would otherwise be out of reach. Go get somebody that's in a really bad spot and there's no other way to get to them safely. Council Bluffs Fire Chief Justin James says the hovercraft is not only new to the area, it's the only apparatus able to operate on any surface. Like in the winter, when someone falls through the ice. It takes a long time to deploy a boat in the winter because all the ice flow. Where the ice flow wouldn't affect this. It's going to stay above it. Um, you could drive right over the ice and it wouldn't, wouldn't affect it, drop right back into the water. Or during a flood. The hovercraft can go up to 25 miles an hour. It flies about nine inches over the water. Good for getting up and over debris. You can get this thing anywhere, basically nothing else can get to. And it keeps first responders safe, too. Because now you're not sending responders technically out into the water or the bad ice. You can take them out there, grab the, the victim, and bring them back. A win win tool in the most treacherous rescue missions. Ultimately, we're the ones who have to kind of solve the problem. And this is another great tool that'll help us get get that problem solved. In Council Bluffs, Melissa Fry, KETV, Newswatch 7.